There's a number of possible reasons why you encounter activation error for iMessage and or FaceTime. The most common reason though is when you changed carriers or if you upgraded from an older iPhone. Activation errors can take the form of any of the following, waiting for activation, activation unsuccessful, an error occurred during activation and could not sign in, please check your network connection error. To fix your problem, there's a number of logical troubleshooting solutions that you must do to eliminate possibilities listed in this video. Solution 1. Verify time and date settings on your iPhone are correct. If your phone has incorrect time and date, Apple servers may not be able to process the activation properly. Make sure that your iPhone 7 uses correct time and date by doing the following steps. Open Settings app. Tap General then tap Date and Time and then Enable Set Automatically. Solution 2. Check if Wi-Fi or cellular data connection is working iMessage and FaceTime needs good and stable internet connection to establish a link with Apple servers properly. If you have intermittent cellular connection, or if your iPhone is connected to a very slow Wi-Fi network, it may not be able to have a solid connection to Apple. Solution 3. Restart iMessage and FaceTime Another trick that you can try when encountering an error during activation is to toggle iMessage and FaceTime. To do that, just go under Settings then Messages and turn off iMessage. Next, to turn off FaceTime, go to Settings then FaceTime and toggle FaceTime off. Once both apps are off, restart your iPhone, then turn both apps back on. Solution 4. Install Latest Updates One of the known reasons why activation of some Apple services won't work is due to outdated software. Make sure that your device has the latest available iOS version. To check if there's an available iOS update, go to Settings then General then go to Software Update. Solution 5. Verify if iMessage is enabled both iMessage and FaceTime uses the same Apple servers so if one is down, the other may be down too. To do that, try to check iMessage on another iPhone, iPad, or Mac. iMessage rarely encounters server problems that result to loss of service but it's worth checking. If you've already established that there's no iMessage issue at all, you can then check if it's enabled or not in your iPhone. To do that, just go to Settings then Messages and ensure that the slider is all the way to the right. If iMessage is off, just turn it back on. This will initiate a reactivation request, though it may reach up to 24 hours to get a positive response. Solution number 6. Contact your carrier. In some cases, carriers may be the reason why iMessage or FaceTime won't activate. To ensure that you have everything covered, let your carrier know about the issue, especially since you said you recently changed your number. There may be some limiting conditions on their end that prevents iMessage and FaceTime from being activated. Also, make sure that your iPhone can receive SMS. If it can't send or receive SMS, it's most likely won't be able to connect via cellular data as well. That, in turn, can cause activation problems with Apple. Lastly, Solution 7, Contact Apple Support. Finally, if all else fails, you must ask assistance from Apple. You're having problems with their services so it's only logical that you get direct help from them. Assuming that you've already tried everything, including anything that your carrier has done, the problem may be account-specific. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell.